Okay. We gonna try this one more time. So, squad, you know what? Y'all are so patient. I'm gonna wait and see if anybody come back because I got some stuff to open up. <laughs> All right, we back. Y'all. I oh, don't know. We back. Don't buy bed else but not call me. I thought I covered all the bases and telling people, hey, West Coast Cali, telling everybody, I'm going live. Don't call me because I know what's going to happen. I'm going live. So, guys, we're back. So, what we left off at? The Clorox toilet wand. I love this thing because it comes with all these extra cleaners. You can put them inside your box right here. The wand, I got to put it together. It, um, you never has to you never have to touch your toilet. You click this on here. Please don't call her. Yes, tell her Valerie. You click this on here and then you just go cleaning your toilet. And you never have to touch the toilet. And you don't even have to pull it off. You just click this button right here and watch this. You click the button. Amen. And it comes off. Supposed to come off. There you go. You click the button and it comes off. You see that? So you never have to, have to touch it. You just click the button, and it falls right into the trash. Put it on top of the trash can, click, click the button. You will never got to touch it. And the wand, the other piece, must be in the box because the wand is supposed to hook onto here like this. But it looks like I got a piece missing, and it's not in the box. Let me tell me, I'm going to be sending this back to Amazon. Oh, here it go, right here. This piece right here. You connect this piece right here to it. And you never have to touch it. Mmm. I can't get it on, but, and it clicks down the head like this. And you never got to touch it. But I can't get this third piece on. Oh. And I love this. I already have one in my upstairs bathroom. This is to go downstairs in my basement bathroom. Because they always coming up here, taking the one out the bathroom up here. They come and take it. And I know this go on here snap, but I don't think I put it on right. I ain't snap it right, but it goes on there. And um, they always come up here, take the one out the bathroom, the main bathroom, and I get to looking for it. They got it downstairs in the basement. So I had it, so I just went and got them one for the basement. That way they keep the basement bathroom downstairs and the basement clean. All right, that's in there. I love that. If you don't like that, it's only $14 too. And it comes with 20 Come with 20 cleaning um things. With 20 cleaning um 20 cleaning um things you can clean your toilet. They already soapy and it smells so good. And you know, if you want to, you can go ahead and put some extra Ajax or bleach in your toilet. But for real, all you need is that little sponge and it cleans up your toilet so good. I love it. Alright. That was box number two. It was a box inside a box. Man, nobody else might not call me. I think I need to change my phone number. Okay, what is this? I don't know what this is. I order stuff. But I remember what it is. I would not be nothing embarrassing that I'm taking out here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. I know what this is. Wait a minute. There you go. Oh, this is meal prep got me some meal prep um containers yeah i need a box cutter yeah i got me some meal prep containers these are 12.99 for how many i got a 15 pack a 15 pack um meal prep 
that I can start prepping my breakfast and my lunch. And I um and um I do my own dinner. Yeah, you so these are meal prep containers, $12.99 for 15. I remember the price on this because I was really looking for some. So got that out the way, y'all. <laughs> That's what I need to do. And what am I, um, yes, they are, they're reusable. That's why I got them. And that's why I didn't get like 20, 50 and all that stuff. Because they're reusable. Once I use them, I could just wash them out. Yeah. They're very reusable. So that's why I like them. Just wash them out, girl. Boy. So far. All right. What is this? This is, oh, Okay. These are the wigs. The other two wigs I ordered. So I'm not going to show y'all the wigs. Now that all four wigs are here that I ordered, I could give you guys the um, Amazon, a second Amazon wig review. So these are the wigs that I ordered along with the two that I showed you guys last week. I was waiting on these two to come so that I could have all four of the wigs when I do the video. So now I got all four of the wigs. So I better do the video for you guys. So that's all y'all gonna see with that. Um, let me see. I got all these boxes prepped up. And then this one, and I'm gonna tell you, Amazon gets too many boxes. They get too many boxes. If I was moving somewhere sometime soon, I'll save all these boxes. Uh, yes, they do come in handy, don't meal prep containers. I would save all these bag on boxes until I was moving somewhere. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. Now, I know what this is. This is in reference to everybody who kept telling me to take down that Christmas decorations. We love you, Miss T, but Christmas is gone. You know that background in the kitchen? So, so like I told you, my kitchen just got painted. I painted my kitchen all white today. Um, so, my kitchen just got painted. And so, um, later on tomorrow, once the kitchen dry and before my next video come, y'all going to see these. I bought some decorations for Valentine's Day. The hang in my kitchen. Um, to decorate the back, the backdrop of my kitchen. So it's Valentine's Day. Got some little string hearts and stuff. So y'all gonna see those in the kitchen. And I said, let me get some. I said, I'm gonna take this Christmas stuff down. Let me get something for I can take this stuff down. So on that wall that y'all see that Christmas, um, that Chris, y'all, this box is everywhere. This is gonna be the new backdrop. Well, that Christmas one coming down, and this is gonna be the new backdrop. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so next food video next week, I'll be having my Valentine's Day next holiday decorations decorations up. Oh, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is official. Me and my sister, we are going to try it again. Um, I'm going to show her son, Michael, some love. His birthday. Yes. Oh, no, wife. Yes. My son's birthday is on Valentine's Day. He'll be 31 years old. He is a Valentine's Day baby since February the 14th. So these are going to be the new decorations for the backdrop. Oh, but it's official. Me and my sister, Tim, we talk about it today. Since we couldn't get our collab up the first time, her, her, her my sister's phone is really messed up. Um, is that eyeglass? T, um, no. Um, we're going to do, I can't get this over y'all. We're going to do a Valentine's Day, um, collab. We're going to make, um, I told her, let's make breakfast because y'all know. I told Tia, I said, Tia, we're going to do a Valentine's Day collab. Let's do a breakfast one. Because I always do a dinner Valentine's Day. I said, come on, let's get real. Because if you with the right special person on Valentine's Day, you know that Bam ain't going home in the morning. You know that. You know he ain't going home until the next day. So you're going to have to feed him for all that work he going to put in the night before. So, yeah. <laughs> 
But I've been telling that school about how to say breakfast. Now I get up and <laughs> y'all already know we grown on here. Y'all already know. <laughs> Let's feed him in the morning. And that goes for him too. Feed her in the morning because she might put some working on you the night before. You already know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, um, guess what this is? This is a holder I got for my um let me tell you you guys. Cause I be trying not be on my video. Y'all know I always telling my son. Hand me a fork, hand me a knife, hand me a spoon. Got me a utensil holder. Look at it. you. It, that's why it's gonna be called brunch. Who name is that? That's why it's gonna be called brunch. <laughs> Valentine's Day brunch, cause you know you don't get up that early. So this is um. This is going to be my utensil holder. You guys may be seeing this in the background for all my wooden spoons and my spatulas and my um, whisk and all that stuff. I had to get me one. I get I get tired to ask somebody, hand me a spoon, hand me this. That way it'll be right there next to the stove next to me and I could grab whatever um, kitchen large, large kitchen utensil will be going in this. And it's um, it's a copper. It looked like a silver, rusted, like country style living type situation here. And it say utensils on it. And I believe this is about $15.99. I believe, don't quote me, I got a cat. This is called, it's a utensil. So it's what's sitting your utensils in, Geraldine. Like if you want to sit, you know, your wooden spoons and your spatulas and all that stuff. You sit it right in here. Yeah, galvanized. There you go. That's exactly what it is. It's galvanized. And I loved it. They had different ones, but this one really spoke out to me. So that's why I grabbed this one, galvanized. And so, yeah, this is going to be from my utensils. So y'all be seeing this in the, on the videos. Y'all got so much stuff. It's ridiculous. This big giant box. I'm about to get one of my sons to open that. All right. Oh, I can't show the hands. Okay. This is another one. I got to figure out what this is, too. Yeah, I've been shopping. But this is not. This is this, this. I told you guys. I'm trying to get Amazon a break. Oh, uh, thank you. These, these curtains I bought for Christmas for my living room, and they was too short. I might as well figure out something, because I was going to give them to my mother, and they was too short for her windows, too. So I might have tears. My sister Tia said she want one. I said she could have one. Uh, we your, your morning coffee. She could put it on the, where she sit in her bedroom, her morning coffee. I told you, you could sit one. You could hang one right on the wall. I, my son hung it up for me. Right on the wall. I said, and it's because I got four of them. We might as well use them. Don't let them go to waste. Oh, this is something else you guys will be seeing. Oh, this is some tape for me to hang some stuff up. But you go to Amazon, girl. Under $10, get you one, two, three, four, five, six, six things of tape. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Amazon for every day. I don't go. I don't go to the store and do nothing. <laughs> but yeah, this is under ten dollars for six rolls of tape. You can't beat that. I've been need. I've been needing some tape in my life. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. That's Vaseline on these lips, girl. Look at that. So I got some tape under ten bucks. These are some glass bowls. I need some more glass bowls. I think I got four of them. They're good for um the microwave. Oh, this is a full cup glass bowl. I need a little tiny glass bowl. And, th and it's a measuring cup glass bowl. So, like, this holds up to... Four cups or anything. So if you got some type of liquid or something, it's, it holds up to four cups. It's a clip on top. It's dishwashable. It's microwavable. And yeah, I just love it. And I, and I, I saw it and I just liked it. 
you know, and it holds up to four cups. I don't be putting fruit in here. Like I be getting my strawberries, and you know, it is a smart seal. Strawberries be going dead, going bad so fast. But if you clean your strawberries, cut the tops off, put them in a seal bowl, and it's and it's leak proof, and put a paper towel on top of them, it helps keep the strawberry fresh longer. So I got this to be put my strawberries in, and, 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 and ironically, it has a picture of strawberries in it. So I didn't even know that. Yeah, I forgot how guys, I forgot how much this was. Y'all know I'm with Amazon Prime. So I have to um go in and um it's a dishwasher murderize the world. <laughs> dishwashers murderize the world. Well, we hand wash over here, so I got a dishwasher, but I don't use it. It's too expensive. It takes my water bill up. So we hand wash dishes. But I like the fact that I can have it because any given day or time, if I decide I don't want to wash dishes, I'll have the opportunity just to throw them in the dishwasher. But for the foremost, we hand wash because I noticed that when I use my dishwasher, I see a difference in my water bill. And um, that costs money. If I got time to playing on high water bill. Mm -mm. So that's a no no. So, this right here, look at this. Can y'all tell what this is? Coming to the counter, too. Y'all gonna be seeing this up there. This was $17.99, and this is what for my seasoning the, the, the seasons that you use the most because. I'm not going to lie. I'm tell y'all. I be in my kitchen. I be like, where my garlic powder? Where my onion powder? I be like, where's the pepper? Who moved the salt? So, I bought this little for $17.99. My, my children say, you just buy money. You just want to catch it. You see the know. These are the season things. You can put all, oh, you got the little spoons to them. Put your favorite seasonings in here. And it comes, it's a rack of four. So, I was like, my house seasoning, I was like, um, my house seasoning and something else, some sugar, something else, whatever the main things I used to cook with that be on my counter. And you can stick them, and they stick right inside here just like this. And just sit them in a space on your counter. And you got your go-to seasoning. And you don't have to be in a cabinet looking for nothing. They, they, they right there. You could just seal them up. Y'all, I should take the plastic off. That looks so ugly with the plastic on it. <laughs> so y'all gonna be seeing this on the counter. And they're thick plastic. They're not pla they're not glass, but it's a very good thick plastic. Very good thick plastic. Because I, I know you guys can hear them. And I'm about to show you what it would look like. I'm gonna take the plastic off of here too. And because they all got their individual spoons and they are one teaspoon measuring spoons. So basically, if you're doing something, a recipe, and you need a teaspoon, the spoons are one teaspoon measuring spoons. And it's four of them, one for each one. So this is what it looks like. And you just stick them right in there. And look at that. Can you imagine your seasonings in here? Whatever your seasons that you use. And it flips up like that. And the spoon holds itself. Well, I do one of the spoons. The, the spoon holds itself right here. I meant that whole stuff right there. And the spoons holds just like that inside. And you can just flip it up, your spoon in there, and season your stuff. No, it don't come with labels. That was the only thing I said. It do not come with labels. So you could get you a black matching marker, and you could, I was looking for one with labels, but it was so cute. I didn't mind that it didn't come with labels. I was like, man, I create my own labels. I buy some black magic markers and I put a um, SG for um, um, GP for garlic powder, OP for onion powder, 
SS for seasoning salt and BL for black pepper. I know what it is. Isn't that cute? Watch out, watch out, watch out. I said BP. Oh, BL. I get out of my face. Oh, we here. Oh, yeah. Then you can do your own label maker on them. So, yeah, so I like this. Y'all gonna be seeing that because that's gonna be part of the background. Because y'all know the cooking area that y'all see the most. Um, yeah, that's gonna be there. Y'all. I was just trying to find some stuff. I was, I was just, you know, you know how sometimes you get tired? The weather's about to change. Y'all know it, right? And so I just wanted to, um, find some stuff that I like. I think I dropped one of my spoons on the floor. I'm going to have to get it. I ain't trying to lose my spoons already. Find some stuff that I like. And I like and I like the fact that it's not glass. Hey, T.Y. Just because I break everything. I'm very clumsy, if y'all know it. I trip, I fall, and all kinds of stuff. Well, I, and like, I got this whole bed. It's a hot mess. It's stuff all over the place. So, I said that right there. Now, I got this other box. It is large and in charge. I don't know what's in it, though. Like I told y'all, I'm not going to put this box up on the table because this is a big box. Let me just open it real quick, and I'm going to grab what's inside of it. Of course, it's a box inside a box. They always do that. Okay. Uh, why is it plastic? Oh, I'm about to order this again before Valentine's Day. Okay. Let's tell, let's tell you. I thought this was, uh, I don't even want this one. I wanted the hard one. But anybody can guess what this is? But it's the plastic one. I don't, I don't want the plastic one. Well, I might keep the plastic. I guess I could sit it on a um, I could sit it on a cookie tray. So, yeah, it's for donuts. It's for donuts. One of my one of my Soul Squad members um sent me an email about two weeks ago and asked me how to do bake red velvet donuts and i say bake red velvet donuts i ain't never did bake red velvet donuts and one of the things i knew that i needed to have was a donut pan and i didn't have a donut pan so of course i went to my favorite place to find a donut pan and so i told the young lady that um i will make um red velvet bake red velvet donuts for valentine's day so this is going to be my valentine's day dessert um i'll be doing baked red velvet donuts um uh, requested by one of my Soul Squad members, but I had to buy a donut pan to go in the oven, and I got this on Amazon. I really got the wrong one. I wanted metal. I didn't want the, um, I ain't want this. But, want, waste not, what not, I will be standing on the cookie sheet, and I will be using it. And it came with piping bags, because you know, you got, yeah, the silicone, I really don't like these. And you so you come, you got the, um, Put the donuts in a circle so it came with some piping bags. That was really, yeah, so that's what this is. I think that was under $10. I believe this was $9.99 or something. So, like, if somebody asked me to do a video and I, if I don't have the equipment, I, I'll get it. Because I'll go right to Amazon and uh, see what they're packing. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is my Splendor Monk Fruit. And they're easy to pop up. Um, anybody know I'm a diabetic. I really can't use sugar. And it's some recipes that I want to use for myself and that requires sugar. And I want to try to try to change some desserts, taking out the main sugar and using this. And monk fruit is really good. It's a substitute sugar. Um, a lot of people that's on keto use this. Um, it's a good substitute sugar, and it's by Splenda. So I got this, ordered it from Amazon. So I could be using this. Even though I got the stevia, I got another type of um, sugar, but I like this too. I like this monk fruit sweetener. So 
That's what I be using for myself when I want to sweet something up. That's what your girl be using. No, I didn't. Sweet D, I didn't. I'm going to have to get it. Girl, I be forgetting stuff. I be forgetting stuff. I be forgetting stuff. All right, because there's boxes inside of boxes. Let's see what this is. Oh. That's what I got these, y'all. I'm going to put it together for you guys. Let me put it together. Let me put it together. Let me put it together. I'm going to put it together for you guys. And these ones, you don't need labels because they already got the names on them. I thought these were so adorable. I believe these were $16.99. I'm going to say they were $16.99. And um, this is for my kitchen. I bought these for my kitchen. I told you I bought a new faucet and all that stuff for my kitchen. So I wanted some soap containers. Look. This soap hand soap that put my stuff in in the kitchen sitting on my kitchen drain these was either $16.99 or $13.99 for both look at that and they got the name on it hand soap and dish soap so now I could put my Dawn empty my Dawn into this empty my hand soap into this that way when people go in my kitchen and they be washing their hand they'll be using my freaking um dish detergent i be fussing all the time why are y'all using my dish detergent to wash your hands dish detergents for doing dishes because they stand in there they try to cook or they try to do something they'll use the dish detergent and i say i am tired of that so I'm going to put some hand soap in this one because say hand soap got a little pump i ain't put the pump thing it's inside the box and and this will say dish to dish soap. So they'll know which one to use. And I'm putting these in the kitchen on my sink. So I thought these was very, very cute. And I believe it was $16.99 for two. Don dries your hands out. I love Don. Don cut some grease, honey. I I one time my son went to the store and I didn't have no money. And I said, pick me up some dish detergent. This family came back with some Ajax dish detergent. Now, don't get it twisted. I will use what I use if I ain't got no money. But I'd be like, I get Don. My son said, no, you get Don. I get Ajax. <laughs> but guess what? I used it because, hey, I had to get the distance clean. But when I'm buying it, I love me some Don. I just love Don. It, it works for me. I'm glad it does not dry my hands out because then I'd be so disappointed. <laughs> but yes, so these are going in my kitchen in the box. I like them when I saw them, but I believe they were sixteen ninety nine for the book for, for, for two. And let's see, let's see, let's see. This is the last. <sighs> let's see what this is, y'all. Cause I don't know. My son's gonna be mad at me. Cause I gotta call him in here. Your palm olive. Now I used to um I used to use palm olive back in the day, and I ain't got. I used to use Ajax back in the day because I lived with my mom, so I had to use what she was using. But once I got my own household. And I used to, and then I started using certain dish detergents. I had to figure out which one was best. I used to use dish detergent I catch on sale. I used to use dish detergent from the dollar store. Um, what's that dish detergent? I know everybody used to use. Everybody. And it used to be good dish detergent. But then I don't know. Once people start buying it, the sun. Anybody remember sun? The sun dish detergent. Now that used to be my go-to dish detergent because it was cheap. It was a reasonable price, and it has it came in apple and orange and um, stuff. And I used to use sun, but hey, Shadonna, but then the quality of sun start going down. Not the quantity, the quality. Since so many people got to using it, they um they they stopped making it right or something. I don't know. Oh, these are my camping chairs. I bought um. I think these was a $29. I 
They were, they were originally 39. I called myself a 29. These are my camping chairs. And y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just going to be the truth. What did I win? I went somewhere last week. And we had a stand in line. And y'all know I got bad arthritis. My legs hurt. And I had my cane. And it still didn't help. And so, but I stood in line for 50 minutes with my son. I forgot. We, we was doing something. Remember last Saturday I told you I was out. I was running errands. We had to stand in line because the place ain't open up to 12 o'clock. And we got there at 11 15. And we had to stand in line. And I was I was like line, I was like the eighth person in line. And I stood in that line and I was on my cane. But even though I was on my cane, I had bad arthritis, especially in my left knee. And standing in line with arthritis for 50 minutes, I don't care whether you're fat or you're skinny. If you got arthritis, you know about standing in line. So as soon as I came home, I said, oh, I can't do that anymore, but I got to go somewhere. So I said, you know what? I, my, my son said, Mom, would you really do that? Yes, I did. Look at your girl boy. I bought this portable, this portable chair. It weighs up to, it say it's camping chairs, weigh up to 400 pounds. You could be 400 pounds sitting there. This goes up to 400 pounds and you can sit on this. So, and they're portable little camping chairs. Yes. I ain't a trip and then I don't know when I'm gonna need it again, but just a experience without experience when i came home i had to take two tylenol two extra strength tylenol no no motrin i had to take an 800 milligram motrin for my legs my legs was hurting i stood in that line for 50 minutes i said oh heck no i said i'll be prepared next time because you know these days when we go places because of the covid 19 and everything we sometimes got to stand in line because they still only letting a certain amount of people in certain stores at a certain time and you got to stand in line till your time come and um I came back, y'all, last Saturday after I did. I was on the couch with y'all, but y'all didn't know my legs was burning. They were hurting, and I and I took and I took 800 milligram. My son massaged my knee for me, and it took to the next day to Sunday afternoon before my legs stopped hurting, and because I stood up for 50 minutes, and um and I got on Amazon. I said I found me a portable chair. I said I don't care. My son said you going I said if you embarrassed that you get to step it because. I, I can't do it if I got to go somewhere else. And so, 400, this thing holds up to 400 pounds. It was originally, I don't know how it does it, but it say it wears up to 400 pounds. They portable, they little. It comes in a little sack you can carry with you. Hmm. Put it in my son's car. I'm putting it in his car. Yes, I am. And you get two of them for $39.99. But I put them on sale for $29.99 on Amazon. Hmm. Y'all know these days everywhere we go, we got to stand in line and get into the store to do this, do that. And if you ain't got the right legs, honey, you ain't got the right legs. It's, it's 13 inches. I'll be down low. But I will hop it up. I'll tell my son, pull me up. These ain't on my legs. Honey, look at this. Got the little strap. You can carry with you on your back like this or whatever. I got my instant seat and we got to go somewhere else. And the place don't open up to 12 o'clock. And he going to get me there by 11.15 and people already getting in line. You said you can't sit that low. I can sit that low. Because what I do, I'll sit that low and I'll just... um. Have my legs out, won't have my legs folded. You just let them out. It, it's just something for a quick seat, but you can take some pressure off your legs. But I got this. I know what I need. I won't try and curl no big old chair, but they call camping stools. They're 13 and a half inches tall. They weigh up to 400 pounds. I did my research. I bought them. They're originally $39.99. I caught them myself for $29.99. Okay. Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do, y'all. So I hope you guys love everything. Now I got two. This is everything. Somebody said, please don't flip. Do you know what tear flop? Tear. That was my sister, y'all. She said, please don't flop. <laughs> That's what I think of my sister. Uh. <laughs> If I flop, somebody better have that camera ready. It'd be a good laugh after you make sure I'm okay. <laughs> after you make sure I'm okay and I know I'm okay, 
Yeah. She doing good, Joey. She taking one day at a time. Okay. Now, this right here. <laughs> Those, these are all the items I purchased and bought myself. Y'all, I can't get them clothing bags over here. I got two clothing bags about this big. This big. But I'm not even showing y'all the clothes because I'm going to do a video on that. That's something different. But they sitting in here too. They big. Okay, now this right here, I didn't buy. And I want to give a shout out to one of my souls, to my soul squad. What they did, they went online to my website and got my business address and sent me two packages to my business address. This came from Miss Sophia Bradford. I, it came two days ago. I didn't open it because it's a fragile. It's thick. And then yesterday, another package came. From Miss Sophia Bradford. She sent me two packages. They came at two different times. And I want to thank you. She's a Soul Squad member. She went on the website and got my business address, Sofa T LLC, and got my business address. And that's what she sent it to. And I ended up and I got the practice. So thank you, Miss Sophia Bradford. It's Bradford. So I don't know if she's in the live, but let's open it up and see what she bought you, girl. I'm excited. My son was like, you ain't going to open it? I said, no, I said, because I'm going to do a box opening on Friday, and I'm just going to open everything then. I got to get a P.O. box, because that's just like when Miss Kern Wood sent me something, and she used DC Kool-Aid, at least a P.O. box for me, and then that's how I end up getting my um, my packs from Miss Woods through DC Kool-Aid and Lisa. Oh, y'all. I'm going to get me a um, P.O. box. I just haven't done it yet, because you got to pay for it. They not free. <laughs> Hope it ain't nothing embarrassing. That's why some things you should open up before you get it. Hey, sister. Let's see what Miss Sophia got me. Let me see what it is, y'all. First of all, it's a card. A touch free tool. I think it's a bottle opener. What sort? Uh, it opened. Oh, it's a touch free tool. It opened doors. Oh, let me see. I'm about to read and see what this do. It's a no touch protection. Open doors and driver and drawers. Um, touch screen, um, press elevators. So it's like for something that you don't have to touch anything. You can put on your keychain and you could just use it to touch the doorbells or to um or to um touch elevators and stuff. With everything we got going on with COVID, we don't need to be touching everything. This is cool. It does a lot. I gotta read this. Um, let me read her card. So for T and family. Look at the card she sent. Ain't that pretty? She said, praying for you and your mom's strength and God help. God is a healer. Keep the faith. Miss Beefy! Hey, y'all know her? Um, Miss Beefy, 10 E C -T. She be on the um on here, 10 EC feet. Y'all know when she see in the group, Soul Squad. Yes. Hey, Soul Patine family. You know I can't see. Oh, my goodness. The, um, the booboo, you, what's this called? The touch-free tool utensils are for you. The touch-free tools, okay. Something's for my mother and my sister. I got to see. Um, the tool is for you. Um... Something for Tia and the booties for your mom. She sent my mom some booties. So let me see. So the touch free thing is. It's for you and Tia. Okay, Tia, this is for me and you. And the booties is for mom. So she sent mom some booties. Let's see. Oh, look at these. Mama Jackie, look what you got. Oh, these are so cute. Thank you, Miss Fifi. My mom is going to love these. Oh. Now, who is this for? Let me see.
see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, the utensils are for me. The utensils are for me. So utensils is for me. This is for Tia. New Life Journey, this is for you. The utensils are for me. And the booties are for Mama Jackie. Okay, I got to read people handwriting. And okay, you and your mark continue to progress towards good health and many blessings. Love and subscribe so thin. Oh, thank you. Okay, so this is for Mama Jackie. This is for um Tia, and these are for me. And y'all, I just bought that brand new utensil thing. Basket, yes. Now, how the heck did she know that? Life is good. Thank you so much, Miss Fifi. Okay, now Miss Fifi sent me two packages, so I gotta see what's in the second package. Oh, wait a minute. There's another pair of booties in here. Oh, let's see. Wait a minute. Let's see who these for. Okay. She said the boo the um bamboos are for you. The touch two two three is for Tia and the booties is for mom. Okay. Oh, okay. And these are for Tia. She said, say in the mittens and pot holders. Is for I think she said it. No, it's safe for you. It's safe for you. So this is for me too. Thank you. I needed that. Thank you so much. Look, y'all, I'm trying to read. Oh, y'all should see this. Oh, all these boxes, boxes they gotta take out. And this is from her too. And this say fragile. And she got this taped up so well, y'all. So I got to see what's in here. Thank you, Miss Fifi. Uh, we're going to make sure Grandma Mama get them booties and Tia come over and get her stuff. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Y'all, I be using scissors to open that stuff, right? So, and she sealed this. And y'all, I don't touch my packages right away. I let my packages sit outside like for two days. And then when they come into my living room, they just be sitting and piling up for the days on there. So, and then we, I, um, I had Clorox wipes. I be wiping my packages down when we bring them off the front porch. We spray them down or we wipe them down. Even though they said um, getting packages is safe in the mail. But we still let them sit outside for two days and then spray them down with Clorox when we bring them in the house. And then they just be sitting. Thank you, Romans. I got it for Romans. I, I treated myself shopping for Romans, a woman within. And the night I grabbed one of these blouses out of the Roman bag. So I got this a Roman. Y'all gonna have a Roman clothing haul and a woman within clothing haul coming next week. Y'all gonna have a wig. I got the four wigs together. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time opening this because it is sealed so good. I got all four of my wigs. So um, we're gonna do the wig haul. And I still haven't forgotten about the um the waxing. You know, I told you I bought that thing for I could wax my face. I take so long with that because, oh, I'm kind of scared. Because, you know, you be going to the head, going to the um the nail place, you get that wax. Man, on the eyebrows, I be like, whoo. So, this is for waxing the face, y'all. So, I don't know. Somebody told yeah, the next thing I'm ordering for Amazon is going to be a, um, a box opener. Because, honey... <laughs> <laughs> I can't get this open. <laughs> I can't get it open. It's so the tape is on it so good. And these scissors act like they don't want to work. And these are good scissors. I don't know. And I'm using my phone. You should have never did it. Don't mess with my phone. I did what? The verification code for your oh Uber. <laughs> and I'm gonna lie. <laughs> so you won't be getting that code. <laughs> I don't know why DoorDash be doing that. Talking about they been they be talking about you need a verification code. Cool. 
So you're gonna be waiting till my live over. Get that code. Oh, she sent me some more. Miss Fifi. Wow, you already sent me um. You already sent me two. So now I got four. Y'all look at she sent me. The gingerbread houses. Look at this. She already sent me two. So now I got four for next year. And you actually these these got um they last for over a year. Christmas is gone. And I had such a hard time finding me some gingerbread houses because everybody wanted me to do gingerbread houses. And every store and everywhere I went, they were just sold out, sold out. And Miss Fifi did send me two, and I ended up getting six and really didn't do anything. Um, for the month of December when it comes to Christmas and videos and stuff. So now I got four. She just sent me two more. And I'm going to put these in the box with the other ones. And I will be saving these to next year. Yes, Miss Phoebe. Thank you. Thank you, girl. I ain't got to worry about searching around for the gingerbread houses next year. I already got. And this is actually. You know what? This is good. These are not the houses this is the village she sent me two villages she said you can still do it look nobody said you can still do it <laughs> i look i'm the only person on youtube in january still talking about y'all let's build some gingerbread houses <laughs> look, okay so these are the village perfect timing yeah so they different Okay, thank you, Miss Phoebe. I just saw that. Two of them. So, guys, this is it. Besides the clothing, y'all, y'all want to be my sons. Look at this. I'm going to show y'all this. Look at this. Look at this. They got to take all that. Look at that. A big old pile. I do everything over there. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't taking none of that out, right? <laughs> Y'all know I ain't taking none of that out. <laughs> I have to call them and be like, Y'all, Y'all gotta come take all these boxes out. Everything feels to the rim. <laughs> they're gonna be mad at me and it's dark outside too and the recycling's on the side but they can't stay in the house so they gotta take this stuff out to recycle recycling all these boxes this is the only thing i do not like um i'm gonna do the wig haul next week um let me see monday is um movie review day tuesday's the video wednesday's the video next thursday next thursday is gonna be the wig haul y'all and then next Friday, I might do my um. I'm, I ain't doing no clothing live because trying to change clothes and be live at the same time that ain't happening. I know this one YouTube lady that a plus size lady, and she um, and she does her um. Her clothing haul live. That chick be sweating, she be huffing and puffing, but she be coming back and she be holding it down. I say, ain't no way I could do a, a clothing video live. Heck no. But what I might do live is the um the waxing. I might do the like the waxing live next Friday night. That's what we're gonna do. Oh Lord, I'm gonna be pain live on YouTube. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. But we <laughs> we gonna do that's what I'm gonna do next Friday. I'm gonna do the waxing live to show you guys how that wax machine um um how that wax somebody um Valerie wanna know how Discord work, y'all. Um see how so I can show y'all how the waxing machine work. We're gonna do it live next with next Friday. Same time. I try to come on at seven o'clock, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so and that means the clothing haul video will be the next following week. The week that me and Tia do our Valentine's Day. It'll be that next following Thursday. Okay. So, Lisa, I got some content to put up, y'all. I got I got me some content. Because I told y'all, them food videos. I do two food videos a week. And I be trying to think of other stuff to put up. So, I got me some content on her channel. Yes. It's an app. And I'm going to try it again. 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a trial one, y'all, because we haven't seen a movie. Oh, I'm going to tell you about the flower, too, Mercedes. We haven't seen a movie in a month and a half since I got sick. And then I came back each time I tried it. The software wasn't working. I'm going to try it again this Sunday. And, um... And we're going to see what happens. I'm going to try again this Sunday. And we're going to see what happens. You can't get no verification code. You ain't messing up my life. Oh. 787-472. Now, what, um, now, now, how are you going to get my stuff back? Oh. My son did something. He got it back. Hey, Yvette just joined Discord. What's up, Yvette? Okay, let's talk about flour. It's going to be a minute before my flour come back. And I know you guys support me and you love it. Um, I think that was one part, too, that also played a part of me being overwhelmed and overworked. And I loved it because a lot of people could sell things to get products in the market. And... It don't go anywhere. They have a hard time selling stuff. You know, I, I have tried to sell so many things in the past and it just don't work. But when it came to me doing this flower and getting this flower out here for the last two years, I've been I've been on the grind. I've been doing it myself. Then my brother came in. He started helping me. And then my um, sons, they started helping me. But it's so off and on. We're trying to get different people to help and everything. So... Since I got sick and everything, and I and I um and on um, the last orders that I had, I refunded everybody back their money. Uh, excuse me. Um, I'm trying to go to a manufacturing company. I thought I had a meeting with a manufacturing company. I didn't eat out in Baltimore. I didn't text. The lady told me January. I didn't I didn't um call left her messages on her phone. This is so unprofessional for a manufacturing company. I found them back in November. And um, they told me they wasn't taking no more clients into January and that we could take a meeting there. They had every, they had all the spices and flour and everything that I used in my flour. They 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 deal with that. It was a spice company, manufacturing. But just because of Corona, they wasn't taking on any new clients into January. And so, um, no, this is a legit, it's a legit company. It's a legit company. Um, but she just had not returned my phone call yet. I I called her. And I emailed her, and um, I haven't. Um, she haven't gotten back to me yet. No, they're a legit manufacturing company in Baltimore, but um, she haven't gotten back to me yet. So I don't know what to do. I've been all this week. I've been on Google's putting in manufacturing company near me, or manufacturing company that deals with flour, or manufacturing company that deal with seasoning. Y'all, I I didn't go to school for business. I am winging this thing by the by, by, by my coattail, and I don't know what to do when it comes to manufacturing. I don't know who to call, how to get a manufacturing company. I don't know what to do. Um, um, Stacy Nelson, she's not in this live. Um, my email address is soulfult45 at gmail.com. She told me to um, um, don't give nobody your money that's on this. Oh, yeah, you know, my brother is business savvy. Um, you know, I so I got my brother going there with me. You know, we ain't giving no money up without the top. You know, you gotta go in, you gotta um, discuss your recipe, you gotta see if they got the product to, to make your recipe come true. Then you gotta see how much they're gonna charge for them to do all that. It's a whole lot to it. But first, first thing first is that I gotta find a manufacturing company. And I uh Stacy is in the chat. Oh, Stacy in here because um yesterday she kept ex trying to give me my um Give her my email address. And every time I kept writing it in my sister chat, the email wouldn't come up. I kept writing my email address in, in Tia's chat yesterday. And it just wouldn't come up. So Stacy is sofalt45 at gmail.com. And she said she was going to contact me um, in regards to um, when I said, that anybody know a manufacturing company? How do I start out looking for one? What should I be looking for if I'm looking for one? So guys... I want to um I want to get the flower in the manufacturing company because of one it's it's overwhelming. I love the success of it, but it's a lot of work when you really don't have people cuz other people got to work. My brother got to work. Um 
and my sons got to work and people doing stuff in between they work time and stuff it make it it's just it's a hot mess and so I had to put it on halt and hopefully it'll come back before I move because then I'm trying to move. I ain't telling you guys where I'm trying to move to. And I got somewhere to go in June to go, um, to go in, um, me and Tia going to, Tia not moving out of, Tia not moving out of state, but I am. And, um, I think it's better for me and I'm trying to get all the stuff done before I move. And I got somewhere to go in June. To go look at some houses in June in the state that I'm moving to. And me and Tia going there in June. And um, I want to try to get the flower up and running on Amazon in a manufacturing company before I move. I got a typo on my Instagram. Oh, I got to see. Um... So, yeah. So, um, I... Um, so I um I'm trying to get everything done before I move. Cause I know once I move and if I decide to bring it back, I'm not gonna be able to um I'm not gonna be able to um do it by myself because only three of my sons going with me. My other sons are staying here in DC, and only three of my three youngest sons going with me. So it's gonna be a four of us. T is not moving. I moving with me. She said she don't want to leave DC again. We did it. She don't want to do it no more. But I want to. Yeah, your IG name handle has always been misspelled. No, actually, that's the way it is. You talk about my my handle because for some reason. My I, the name was already taken on the IG, and so you know they give you something to choose from to choose from. So I try to choose the one that was as close to my name as possible. So that's why that's like that. I know a lot of people probably thought it was misspelled. No, it's like that because it was the um, it was um, it was the closest one that I could choose from without having the T. So for T and the L and the T or something, yeah. Uh, don't leave um, stay for this snowy about the <laughs> oh I, I ain't leaving no time soon. Um actually um if everything works itself out and the way God is leading me and and, and and what I'm doing, I'm not moving until August. So nobody don't nobody in my family believe me because my mother and my sister, my brother, and then my other sons, they say, oh, you always talk about you moving. You'll never go. You you moving and you'll never go. And I said, no, I'm doing it this time. I said, because I feel so that's where I need to go at. I believe I could grow there. I said, I think it's more opportunity for me there. And I said, I just feel in my heart. That's why I wanted to go. And I've been wanting to move there for the last two years. But I always kept letting other people situations, not my situation, Letting other people's situation hold me back from doing what I want to do. And I'm 51 years old. I'm 51. I can't keep saying what I want to do and then don't do it. And then I let everybody else who's around me stop me from living my dream. And then people, and then I had a couple people say in my ear, um, if you do it, um, you I think you making a mistake. Um, Corona vibes is high in that area, and this, then I said, baby, Corona vibes is everywhere. I said, Corona vibes is everywhere. I said, right now, we can't outrun that. I said, the same thing I'm doing here, I gotta do there. I said, I be careful, do what I gotta do, and you know, I said, I'm not gonna let. I said, so now it's another situation. First, I let people keep me back from moving to where I want to go to because they don't have their stuff together and I'm worried about them. So I put myself on the back burner. And if I would have did what I wanted to do two years ago, maybe I would be in a better space now. Financially, you know, everything would be different. But I always, I have I always put people first. I never, never put myself first and so I had a talk with a girlfriend and, and you know and I be I, and I get my and I get my morning words up to date by Joe Austin I get my bible verses and my word of the day I wake up to every morning and I read them and I just feel like it's talking to me and it's making me feel like I'm making the right decision on what I want to do and I and right now I'm about to be selfish because I'm doing me Right now, I'm about to be selfish. And um, so I get my word of the day every day. 
I get my morning prayer every morning and I read my word today. I say my morning prayer every morning and every time I get it and I read it, I feel like it's coming directly towards me. And so I know I'm making the right decision. I got people in my ears saying, you don't need to do that. What if you get down there, things don't work out and, and you want to fail and I don't think you should go and all this stuff. Um, um, and, um, and I, um, I said, guess what? I never know until I do it. I said, if I fail, I fail. Then I come back home. They said, well, you come back home. What you come back home to? I said, look, I don't I ain't thinking ahead of that right now. I'm not thinking like that. I said, if I, if I go down there and if, they, if I fail, I fail. I said, at least I know I did it. At least I know I'm doing what I want to do. I said, I've been trying to move here for two years. And for two years, I've been worrying about everybody else. And it's two years later, the same people I'm worried about ain't got their stuff together yet. So how much longer do I supposed to wait on people to get their stuff together if they ain't done it yet? I keep holding myself up. Oh, I love you. I'm going to worry about you. And then my sons mess around. They had babies. Did I let the grandbabies stop me from moving? Because I don't want to be away from my granddaughters. I love my granddaughters so much. I love my granddaughters so much. And the thought of not being with them or not being around them. It, it's like that that's kind of like still got me on a fence a little bit every time i think about it every time i think about what i'm about to do i keep having my two granddaughters in the back of my head i'd be like i'm gonna miss them so much but then i think about it we got facetime i could come back and visit a lot of grandparents don't live in the same um uh, and a lot of grandparents and stuff don't live in the same um, state with their grandchildren and stuff. You know, so I say I could do this. Then I say what I'm doing is that I'm trying to better myself for everybody. Because every, everything that I do, everybody benefits from. If don't nobody know it, everybody know it. Everything that I do, I'm the sole provider for my family. Everything I do, everybody benefits from. So that's why I, I feel as though that why you ain't in my corner with this move because everything I got, you got. Everything I make, you got. I don't say no to nobody. I give everybody everything. People are really like benefiting off whatever I benefit from. And that's because that's the way it should be. Y'all my family. I'm not selfish. If I got it, you got it. Y'all just love and respect there. I'm going to give it. I'm giving it away. And so... I, I I don't mind, so I don't want to hold myself back no more. So I'm making this move. I, I right now that's what's in my head. That's what's in my head. That's what I want to do, and and I, the people that I was worried about, I keep asking them, "Do y'all want to go?" I keep asking them, "Do y'all want to go?" They keep telling me no. Do you? We don't want to be the reason that my son told me yesterday. I don't want to be the reason that you holding yourself back. If you want to do it, go for it. He said, we going to be okay. I said, okay. I said, but I, <laughs> but this is my thing. I said, I want to know before I go, because I'm going in June, then look at some property and to see, what, you know, look at some houses and how many bedrooms I need to rent. I said, don't let me go. And I go rent. A three bedroom and I need a four and then you're gonna be short so you need thank you so yeah so where I'm trying to go where I want to go y'all and I got family there and, and my family has a YouTube channel it's called Tommy um Tommy went vegan my cousin he is a vegan He's been living there for over 20 something years. He's married. He don't have no children. I got another cousin that lived there and she don't know I'm trying to come, but he told me to come on. I'm going to love it. He even got a real estate company for me to go look at. Me and him been corresponding. He has a YouTube channel. It's called Tommy Went Vegan. I don't know. He just didn't start. He's been doing it for like a month and a half. I didn't even know he had a YouTube channel. So yeah, so... Yeah, so where I'm going to, 
where I'm trying to go to, where the dream is all together. One word, Tommy went vegan. It's not space, it's all together. Tom Antoine, Dodo. Tommy went vegan. It's all together. One word. And I've been looking at his YouTube channel. He got about 45 subscribers. He's been vegan for almost five years. And I told him, you need to put up some cooking channels. And he have not done that. Some cooking videos. But he have not done that yet. But if y'all want to check out what he got going on, he don't know I'm shouting him out. Yes, Tommy went. There you go, Stacy. It's all together like that. Tommy went vegan. And um, and it's his picture is like a little bald head cartoon character. Um, um, what's your call my name? The girl Michelle Dodo. His picture is like a little cartoon character. And um, and I didn't know he had a YouTube channel and so I and I called him. I reached out to him and we've been talking and um, so yeah. And if you know, it's Houston, Texas, y'all. I'm trying to, I want to, the dream is I want to move to Texas. I want to move to Houston. And um, that's what me and Tia are going to June to go look at some properties and look at some houses. I'm trying to rent a three bedroom house and I'm trying to move to Houston. And I said, I want to do it for a year. I said, if I like it, I'm going to stay there. So where I'm trying to move to is Houston. Oh, uh, Joey said, I was already subscribed somehow. Laugh a lot for real. Yep, that's my cousin. So, um, it's Houston. I've been sitting on this for three weeks now. I've been talking to my cousin. Yes, it was nice there. I thought about Dallas. So, um, that's where I want to move to. I got three of my boys on board. That's going with me. One of them is my editor. And then Andrew and Jackson. So this is going to be four of us there. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying. I know Joey. Ain't that amazing? I can't wait. So y'all don't hold me to it. I know I tell y'all things. So high, but this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I've been contemplating the last three weeks. This is what I've been getting my family for. I've been getting them ready for it. Um. I've been telling them, and, you know, don't nobody believe me. Don't nobody believe me. My mother don't believe me. My brother don't believe me. My brother say, oh, every year she want to move. She ain't going nowhere. She'll never go nowhere. The reason I don't never go nowhere because I let other people hold me back from going because I, um, we going to June. Me and Tia going to June, to Houston in June, to my cousin's house. We going to June. I let other people hold me back. That's why every time I say I wanted to move to Texas, at one time, two years ago, nobody knew. I was looking at apartments. I was talking to um, I was talking to um, apartment complexes when I wanted to move to Texas two years ago. And I, and I look around at my surroundings and I look at my family and I be like, I can't go nowhere. Don't nobody got that shit together. If I go, I might leave people homeless. I'm gonna leave people this, people this, people that. And um, but um, I'm done now. I'm 51. And I think and I see a better opportunity for me out there. So, and I'm gonna go. And I think I wanna go. I really do. I been and I say I could I could go for a year. Why not? It's a year of my life that if I don't try it, it you know, I'll never know. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I, um that's why I'm really trying to work hard to get my um because why Texas Maya? For one, I got family living in Texas, so I won't be alone. I got two cousins that could show me around. Um, and I got a cousin, he's like, you know, he don't have any kids, him and his wife, but he was like, you know, he'll be there for us. He was like, you know, I will help you when you're ready to move in. And when a truck come, we'll help you move in. He said, he, you know, he said, me, gave me real estate company names and stuff. And he was like, he'll show us the road. And you know, sometimes it's good and it's something different. It's good to have somebody there. It's, I, don't, I don't have a whole bunch of family, just two people, but I, but I would know somebody. So it's not like when we moved to South Carolina, we um my sister we did knew somebody, but we didn't do it right. 
So um, this time is being done right. Money is being saved up. I'm taking my job with me. And then when I look at my demographic for my YouTube, Texas is a better area for me for my demographic. It will it, it probably would change me on a financial front. It would change me on a business front. And it's just a be something different. And financially, it's cheaper. It is so cheaper. When I tell you, and I am lying, anybody in this chat who live in a DMV area, look up how much it costs to rent and live in Washington, D.C. We are talking about two bedroom apartments in the $1,500, $1,800 a month. You talking about trying to rent a four bedroom house, $3,500 a month, sometimes $4,000 a month. And D.C. is so expensive. It is crazy. So you can't elevate in the DMV. You can't elevate in the DMV area. We, we're kind of small. We're more of a government district type area. And, um, and, and, that, and they prices is off the chains. They prices is so off the chain. I can't, I can't even upgrade and move into a bigger house unless I want to pay $4,000 a month. I don't want to pay no $4,000 a month for no damn four-bedroom or five-bedroom. And I be looking at other states and stuff. They be wanting a three-bedroom, four-bedroom, $1,800, $1,400, um, $1,500. Reasonable prices. You can't get that. D.C. is so high. It's like you get stuck. And you'll be welcome too, girl. I need to know somebody. <laughs> so that's what that's what I've been talking about the last couple of weeks. I've been talk. I've been saying that to my mother. I asked to ask Tia, did she want to come? And then my mom. I mean, that, that we gonna talk real deep and real personal right here, right now. And don't say I, you know, cause I, you know, I know everything ain't for everybody, but. When I got the phone with my mom, I was this how deep this conversation was. I was crying. And I was crying because I love my mother. I heard Tia talk to my mother earlier. My mom made me cry a week ago. Oh, it's been two weeks now. I think it was two weeks, a week and a half ago. I called. She said, I said, Mom, did Tia tell you? Tia told me you moved to Texas. I said, Yeah, I'm going to move to Texas. She cussed me out from the floor up. She made me feel so bad. She cussed me out from the floor up. And she cussed me out because of her situation. I love my mother. Everybody don't got their mom. I know my mom's going through something. I know my mom has cancer. And she put her situation on me. You're going to leave and you know I got cancer. And she she just said a whole lot of things I don't even want y'all to say. And I was crying. I had tears coming out of my eyes. And and I told her, I said, Mom, I love you. I said, I do. I said, but I always let other people's situation stop me from doing what I want to do. I said, I know you got cancer. I said, but you, God willing. And if you make it through this cancer, you you know, you may have it for another five or four years or you may get over it. I said, so I supposed to put my life on hold for another five or six years until your situation clear up. I said, I love you, Ma. I said, I do. I said, but every time I turn around, I can never do what I want to do for myself because I always got to put people first. I say, if I was your only child. And you ain't had no children here. I said, I wouldn't even think about moving because you got cancer. But you got Tia, you got Antoine, you got other kids. I said, and I didn't even tell you you couldn't come. I said, move with me. I told my mother, I said, you could come with me. They got everything you need down there. We could transfer everything, your doctors, we could do everything. I said, move with me. I don't want to move no motherfucking thing. She don't want to move. But she don't want me to move. And I can understand that. Because she's scared of everything that she's going through. Too. I'm 
51. I'm getting old. And if I don't do or make moves that I want to do, I won't, I won't never get anywhere. And I say, I'm so sorry that you sick, but I am here for you. I say, if something go wrong, guess what? I will be a three hour plane, a three hour plane ride away. I said, Tia will call me and say, get on the mom sit. Get your butt down here. Get your butt down here. I will drop everything I'm doing and I will hop on that plane and get here. It's nothing that there that I can't do from here. And like somebody told me, I saw somebody else say that, that Houston has some good doctors for cancer. They had some good doctors. I never told her that she couldn't go. I said, come with me. You come with me. But if you decide not to go, why I can't go? That's why I try to get everybody to understand why I can't go. I stopped. I, I'm always been that person my whole life. I didn't carry the responsibility chip on my shoulder my whole life before I had children. When I got children, now my children grown. Now other now now that they're grown, everybody issues is my issues, and and, and, I, and I'm all and I'm always the last one to do anything. I'm the last one to get anything to do anything to, cause I think about everybody else. I don't never think about me, and this time I'm thinking about me. That's the road I want to travel. That's the way I want to go. You know, and, and I was tired. So when I got the phone, my mother, I was crying. I was crying so hard. I tried to call Tia. Tia, Tia wasn't answering the phone. I think Tia was in school. And um, so, and I tried to call another friend of mine. She didn't answer the phone. So I ended up calling another friend of mine's. And she answered the telephone, and I told her what was. She was like, "What's wrong? Why are you crying like this?" And I told her what just happened on the phone, me and my mother. And I said, "People try to always guilt me, and they make and try to make me feel bad or make me feel like I'm wrong when I want to do something for myself." Man, when I said I was crying, I was crying so bad. She had to calm me down, and um, she said, "Do." She said, "What do you want to do?" And I told her what I wanted to do, and and you know, me and her prayed together. And we read some scriptures. And then um, she said, I've been knowing you for 20-something years. She said, you always put people before you. She said, you never do nothing that you want to do for yourself. She said, do you. She said, everybody else going to be okay. She said, do you. She said, you're not wrong. She said, what you said to your mom is not wrong. She said, do you. She said, I didn't know. She said, I know you too long. She said, you put your kids first. You put your family first. And I'm not bragging about that. I feel good that I do that. I, I like doing that. But now I'm 51 and I got something that I like to do. I see potential in something that I do. And what I'm doing, they don't understand it. It's still for them. At the end of the day, all the changes that I'm trying to make, everything that I want to do, do you not realize y'all are benefiting from it at the end of the day? The more that I get, the more that I can prosper, the more I say I'm happy. You know what I told her? She said, what makes you happy? I said, every time I think about moving to Dallas, I get happy. I said, my heart shines. She said, follow your heart. That's like my exact word. I say, every time I think about it and I talk about it, I say, my heart light up. I say, I get so happy in the inside. She said, then that's your answer. She said, move. She said, do what you got to do. And it's going to be hard. Y'all think I ain't going to be scared? Y'all think I ain't going to miss my grandson, miss my oldest son, miss my middle child? Because I only taking three of my sons with me. Y'all think I ain't going to miss my mother, miss my tear? Miss my Tyree. I'm going to miss all of them. That's my family. But don't nobody want to come. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to come. But the three, my three sons, they want to come. They been, they wanted to come two years ago. Don't know for some reason. Them three boys right there, they'll follow me to Alaska if I tell them. Them three right there, they will follow me to Alaska. They told me, okay, let's go. Um... 
Yes, Jer, Joey, Brandon, love it. Brandon talked to me yesterday. He said, Mom, I've been doing my own for four months. He said, I ain't going to never quit my job, lose my job. He said, I'm going to go to work. He said, I just love being, love my apartment. He said, I just love being home by myself. I said, that's good. And so that's the plan. If nobody else, don't, if they don't try to change my mind, because really, people keep whispering things in my ear. But um, trying to, they, they, it, when they, it kind of makes me nervous on what not I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating to make this move and do the right thing. But um, but I try to block their whispers because sometimes I think their whispers is not about me; it's about them because they ain't got they self together. So they whisper negativity so that I can stay put and they be good. But then um. You know, I don't know. But my sons told me to do it. Michael, he's my oldest. The one I born 14, he said, Mom, he said, don't worry about us. This is Michael. He told me this yesterday when I was in here talking. He said, Mom, don't worry about us. He said, we grown. He said, if you want to do it, he said, go for it. He said, I'm going to be okay. He said, we're good. And my son Joshua said, Mom, if you want to do it, go for it. He said, I'm going to be okay. He said, but I just ain't going to never visit you. <laughs> I said, what? He said, oh, I don't do airplanes and stuff. He said, I'm just going to never visit you. He said, so the day you move be the last day you see me. And I kind of took that as a threat. I said, so are you threatening me? He said, no, I'm not threatening you. He said, you know, I just don't do that. He said, but as long as you come and visit us, he said, hey, I'm good. You can see me all you want to see me. I said, well, why you ain't say it that way? I said, because I feel so you was threatening me by saying, if I move, it's in our relationship. <laughs> Well, he said, no, nah, I'm saying that way because I don't catch airplanes and you know I ain't coming to no Houston. He said, but I'll be here waiting on you when you come home to visit. And I said, okay, that sounds a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, but it takes too long. The Amtrak, the airplane is only three and a half hours. It did be my first time on an airplane in June. And all this stuff. So, me and Tia, me and Tia going in June. To visit our cousin, to go look at some houses, and hopefully I find something I like, and I could um do some applications on some houses in June, cause I want to move in August. So that's a scenario. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get the flower into um a manufacturing company. Uh, trust me, he will fly here in six months. I already know it, so that's why I ain't worried about it. Um, you only flew four times. I never flew. So I'm kind of nervous about that in June. But me and Tia going, and I, you know, it's something I want to do. I say, if it don't work itself out, I always know what home is. D.C. D.C. is home. D.C. will always be home. But D.C. is expensive. It's hard to live here. It, it's too much money. You know what I'm saying? The drive from here to D.C. is 21 hours. That's going to be a two-day road trip if you drive it. It's already looked it up. It's 21 hours. Yeah, it's a little trippy the first time. Yeah, so we going down in June. And, of course, I'm going to take you guys with me. Me and Tia go in June. And hopefully we go down there and stay at least a week when we go in June. Well, it depends on Tia graduation. So we got to get Tia graduation date. That's what she told me. Get her graduation date. And once we find out when she graduates, because she can't miss her graduation, because I'm so proud of my sister. She doing her thing. She getting a high school diploma. She getting a trade. She may be going to college. And that's one reason why she don't want to go either. And we all on our different journeys. At one time, me and her, we packed up. We moved to South Carolina together. Things didn't work itself out. And guess what we did? We packed up. We moved back home. And it's easy as that. And, and people do it every day. And so once we find out, you know, her June schedule, when is her virtual graduation going to be? And that's we're going to plan a trip around her June schedule. So I don't know when she's supposed to be getting her schedule for June. But as soon as she finds out, um, that's we're supposed to plan a trip around her June schedule. Girl, all that hard work my sister put in, she cannot miss her um, her virtual graduation. Not at all. 
she was she cannot miss her virtual graduation and i don't want to go by myself so um soon as her graduation over we gonna go after her graduation or if her graduation at the end of the month we'll go in the beginning of the month so it's gonna um very once we get her and once i get all her information how we gonna do it that's what i'm trying to do and and, and i'm gonna do it so yeah y'all so houston texas here i come y'all supposed to love me there so so fatigue coming to houston <laughs> <laughs> y'all that's the plan that's what i want to do that's 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 the moves i've been making stacy hit me up girl you got some ideas for a manufacturing company someplace that i need to hit um let me know like i said i've been doing it for the last two days and i can't find nothing I don't know where to begin or where to start. Because I really want to get my flower back out there. A lot of people have been asking me and stuff. But I want to get it out there this time. I want to do it the right way. And so, um, um, no, nope, I don't know nobody in Houston, Xavier. I don't know nobody. I know it is a lot of, um, um, it's a lot of um, YouTubers, but they young. My son told me, oh, mom, it's a lot of YouTubers um, out there, but they young. They young. I'm, I'm an old YouTuber. It's a lot of um, young YouTubers out there at H-Town. Um, you know, they do a lot of vlogs and challenges. That's not my life. Um, so <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing any class with anybody in Houston because them, them young kids, I leave that to them. But um, I'm going to go do me, though. Yeah, there go. Tommy went vegan. And I never been anywhere. The first place I ever been was Florida for a week on vacation. Oh, I can ask her too. Yeah, you're right. I can ask that. Um, be love. And then um then I lived in South Carolina for 10 months. And then you know, I've been to North Carolina a couple of times. I don't travel, don't do nothing, go nowhere. Houston, Texas will be the first place I ever went. The first place I ever lived. Who? Mama Jones? I look at Mama Jones. Her and them crazy people is. I love them. I look at her son too. I didn't know she was in Houston. Mm. The turkey hut. Oh, okay. But I don't know, y'all. I'm going to keep y'all posted. I know that's what I'm going to do. I don't know Mr. Montgomery lived. Well, he lived in Houston. That's my dream. That's where I'm going to. That's 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 what I've been um uh, um who is tasty? See, I don't know. I don't know. Um YouTube is so big. Don't y'all know YouTube got over 39 million subscribers? Quick FYI, y'all, my phone just said um low charge. So if we go out, I won't be coming back because that means my battery's been dead. My phone went dead. But you know, YouTube got over 39 million um, YouTubers. And they all over the place. So, who knows? I don't know where they at. But, um, that's, 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 this, this is all my 2020, what year is this? 2021? This is all my 2021 plans. This is what I got planned for myself. This is what, this is where I see myself. I see me manufacturing my flower. I see my flower being sold on Amazon. I see me moving to Houston, Texas. If it's just for a year, just to get the feel of it and see how I like it. We got to put our best foot forward and we got to try new things. And I'm trying new things. And I know my mom's scared. And, and and that's the only place that my mom's scared. But I got to do what I got to do for me. And I could still do what I got to do for me and still be there for her. You know, still be there for her. I'm not abandoning you. I'm not abandoning you at all. Trust and believe. If something go wrong, I know I know what come first. You. I know how to get on that plane and come see my mama. So, yeah. I think she just so used to me being a 15-minute a, a, a ride away. You know what I'm saying? She come knock on my door anytime she wants. She knows. She, you know, I know my mom come over my house and she stay a week. She stay two weeks. She just going to miss that. But she got Tia. Her and Tia grow closer together. Her and Tia is close with me and my mom is closer. And um, 
her and Tia grow close together. Because Tia and my mother, I think they bump heads because I think they, they got the same attitude. A uh, soap T Cruz Mercedes. <laughs> oh, man. You think it'll work itself out? Somebody said, come to Florida. Uh, I ain't got Florida. Florida got, um. You know why I can't live in Florida? And to be honest, I got, I'm, I'm going to say like, I got three black men in my life. That's why I can't live in Florida. I'm just going to, that's, that's just why I go to Florida to visit. But I can't, I can't hang my head in Florida, live in Florida. Because I got three, I got three young black men that's still under my wing. And let's just be truthful. Florida ain't too good to for, for black men. I ain't seen it. Y'all call me bias. I'm just going by what I've seen in the news over the years. And I'll just be too afraid for my sons there. But that's, I'll come and visit though. i come and visit Florida. Most definitely. But I am out y'all. I love you guys. See you tomorrow morning on, on the couch, 12 o'clock noon, Easter Standard Time. Do I know what we're going to talk about? I don't know, but we will go live. I just don't know what we're going to talk about, but I'll be there 12 o'clock. And then don't forget, Bingo is back. This will be our second week. We had a ball last Saturday, y'all. We did, but Andrew... <laughs> Andrew and his music. <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a sight for so eyes. Or that was the ends for so ears. I don't know. But it was crazy. But and, but if we had we had a ball, sir. That we did. We was joking, cracking jokes on. My key, I ain't see her in a lot. Man, key was dropping the mic every time I turned around. We was we was cutting up jokes on Andrew. He started off good with the music. Then that Bama just went left. It was crazy. <laughs> but good night, y'all. Uh, look, look, Lisa, Lisa said no baby making music. <laughs> good night, y'all. I love y'all. I got all these boxes for my family to get rid of. You hear me? They gonna take these boxes out to the dumpster to, to the um recycling bin tonight. Can't have all these boxes here. I see y'all tomorrow. I love you guys. I am out. Thank you for hope you guys enjoy my box opening. Right now, I'm on a budget. This is this is January. No more box opening for the month of January. I see you in February for box opening. I try. I put myself on a Amazon budget, and I didn't already spend it. <laughs> I didn't already spend it. Unless you gonna give me something for Amazon, and no more box opening for the month of January. We done it. We are out, and I love you guys. Good night.